Hello there guys, thank you for joining me again here in Elm Creek, hope everyone is well. Um, as you can see, lovely, another lovely day, I don't think you can ever get a bad day here in America, doesn't seem like it. Um, so today, I have been having a little think, and well, I've actually been and bought myself a baler, because I'm going to try and get obviously, get all this straw picked up, or bail it up, and I think I might just put them in storage for now. I don't know, I might end up getting some animals at some point. I haven't quite decided yet, but that is the plan today. So I think, obviously, first things first, I am going to have to go and get the baler. Apparently there's a dealership just down the road, which is ideal. So, yep, went down there yesterday evening and managed to find one. What a bad price, 22000 so it'll do the job. Um, also, I managed, I've actually decided I am going to sell the Massey Ferguson. Like I said, I just want to have a John Deere farm, and yeah, I just think this one it might get a big, good bit of money from him. So as you can see, got the got a couple of um, plates on it, advertising it for sale. So hopefully, someone will be interested. I haven't quite decided on the price yet. Um, as you can see, I haven't put a price on it. So just see if I get some interest from it, really, and then if I do, then I'll come up with a price at a later date, I'm guessing. Um, so obviously, yeah, like I said, first things first, we should go and get ourselves, go and pick up our baler from down the um, dealership. So I think I'm going to take the 7810 with me. I think the, um, the 4755 is a little bit over the kill for the baler. It's only like a small baler, so I think the 7810 will be good enough for that. So we'll go and get that from out of the barn down here. But I've got to say, I really did enjoy doing the harvest the other day it was good really did um yeah we're getting here then all right there we go right let's get ourselves into the 7810 and we'll make a move down to the dealer oh, okay lovely good to be back in the tractor again kind of missed it last night um right let's get this thing fired up and then we'll head off down to the dealer It'll get the weight up. I might as well keep the weight on it. I don't see the point in dropping it off, really. Right, okay, so let's go. Yeah, 22,000. I didn't think it was a bad price. It should do the job and come in handy for a good few, hopefully, a good few years. But good condition as well. To be honest, it's quite handy that the dealership's just down the road from me quite happy about that really all right um it's down the right one it yeah nothing's coming is it ah we seem to be good ideal all right lovely there we go we take a couple of have a little look around as well while we're going down show you guys obviously you got the fuel station there nice little diner i have to go there sometime See if we've got some good food. Sometimes you can't beat a good American diner. What's this here then? Is that a fire station? Not quite sure actually what that is. So it should be just down in the dealer. Support your local farmers. Thank you. Yep, ideal. Oh, see, he's got some crop there, look. He must be going to be out for harvest soon. Um, uh, I want this one, was it? No, next one. All right. Wait for this guy to come past. Oh, let's get down there. Okay, I'll deal. Get ourselves in here, then. See, that looks like that's the baler that I got. So, actually, we might as well just go and park next to that. And then I've just got to run into the dealer. Get a bit more of the paperwork finished off. Um, in fact, we'll park over behind it. Okay, the cells over here. Okay, I'll do that. Beautiful. Right, we'll hop out and actually have a, look, have a quick look around it, shall we? Right, 
Here we go. Ah, oh, I do love this John Deere. So yeah, here we go. Our baler. I see they haven't took the um, for sale plates off it yet. Um, yeah, Matty Ferguson, 1840. Nice small baler. Quite old school, if I'm honest. But I don't know how big the bales are. I'm guessing they're yeah, they're quite small, aren't they? Yeah, conventional bales. Yeah, perfect. I haven't really got the machinery to pick up anything bigger, so... What do you guys think? I think it looks quite nice. Quite a nice little baler. Like I said, very good condition. 22,000. Might seem a little bit steep, but... I think it wasn't a bad price. I mean, I do have 100 grand, so... 22,000 isn't too much out of the budget. And obviously, if I do sell the Massey Ferguson, then... um, Try and get some money back off that, then, so... But, anyway, I'll better go off and do the paperwork... And then I'll catch back up with you once that's all sorted and I'm hooking back up. So I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Okay, all sorted. Got the paperwork all done. Um, it's now officially ours. Oh, I've got looking forward to this. Let's go and try the thing out. So let's go and obviously hook it up and then we'll go down and we'll start to go and make some bales. Okay, you're right. There we go. ourselves backed up here, there we go, got it in reverse, lovely. Um, hope I don't get in the way too much when I'm hooking this up. Right. Nothing around is there, now we seem to be okay, ideal. Alright. Yeah, get it hitched up, then I'll jump out, get all the cables connected, and then we'll be good to go. Alright, there we go. Right, just going to quickly get the cables attached. Back in a minute. Okay, all sorted. We're good to go. Uh, right, nothing still coming, is there? Uh, now we seem to be alright, lovely. Let's get going. Yeah, it's a shame really, because I was kind of trying to find a John Deere baler. But, unfortunately, I don't really have one for sale at the minute. So, have to go with the Massey Ferguson. Set, you know, advertising one Massey Ferguson to end up getting a Massey Ferguson baler. Makes you think I should have kept the other Massey, really. But, I think I'm making the right choice in getting rid of it. Like I said, we don't need three tractors. Two tractors is plenty. I mean, we could get away with just one as it's just me on the farm, but it's nice to have a bit of a change of scenery every now and again. This is a really nice area though. I'm glad to call this place home. I really am. Yeah, I do hope that um, the Massey does get some interest in it, though. Quite nice to sell it, really. See how much money we end up getting for it. Alright. Suppose now, it's going to be a case of trying to work out how to set this baler up. I think we'll start, we'll think I might just follow the same path I did with the um, harvester. So, get round here. Yeah, I think we'll go from here. Right. Alright, well, I think I'm going to jump out and try and work out how to get this thing all ready for baling. Get it all set up. So, I will catch up with you once I've done that. So, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, all sorted. Actually, it wasn't too bad, actually. All I had to do was just drop the rear panel here and everything seems to be all good to go. So, suppose it's now just pretty much turning it on and going for it. I'm guessing, anyway. I think I've just realised, I think I've been driving with that thing down. Um, I'm not sure. 
I'll have to have a look at that when I get in the tractor. But I'm pretty sure that is in the down position. Oh well, anyway, we'll jump back in and then we'll get cracking on. Alright, let's have a little look because I'm pretty sure that was in the down position. Oh no. Fair enough, okay. That wasn't too bad then. Right, let's fire this baby up. Oh, oh here we go. Right. Get ourselves pulled forward a bit though. I don't really want to start raking up the gravel. I know there's a bit of straw in this grass here. Ah, there we go, there it is. Right. Let's get going. So I wonder, how, I don't know how many bells I'm going to get off this field. Hopefully a nice amount. Will be good. Um, well, we'll pull over here and we'll reverse back, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that then. Yep. Um, I don't know if you're meant to reverse with one of them down, so I'm going to lift it back up just to be safe. I don't really fancy breaking my baler as soon as I've got it. Well, I should get the turn on it, hopefully. Right. Good. Perfect. Lovely. Should have probably done the um, ends first before I... Oh, no, we should be all good, actually. Should be all good. In fact, I think I might... Actually, no. I'll get, I'll obviously, I have to jump out in a bit. Go and get myself a picture just for the actual video. But I think we'll do a couple more bales and then um, we'll do that after. Right. Get that back up. Hopefully, I actually had the wheel in the right way. There we go. I'm getting quite a few already, off it already too bad is it pretty small bales it's actually perfect to be honest with you because like I said I should be able to lift these by hand obviously the, I haven't got a trailer so I know I'll probably use the pickup truck if I'm honest actually uh, probably do the job just fine right Yeah, getting it all beautifully. Beautiful job. Oh, there's a few bits that I've missed, so I'm going to have to go around after this. So tidy up. Every little bit of straw is helpful. Especially because these are small bales. So, you know, it could be a chance of actually being another bale then, so... I think, actually, what I'm going to do with this one... We go I'll try and get this corner bit. Might just lift it up and then just drive around. Saves all the reversing. Got plenty of space here, so may as well. There we go, drop that back down. A little bit there, I'll go and grab that bit then. Like I said, can't really tell how much... You know, a little bit could be quite a lot, so... Plus it always looks nice, I've done it if you've got every little bit, so... I do like this though. Nice little baler. Working a treat. In fact, what I'm going to do, I might actually just... Do a little bit up here, and I'm going to get myself out, and I'm going to get a thumbnail, so... Get a picture for the... Video. Right. I might just do that now, so I'll be back in a second. Once i got the picture. Right, okay, sorted. Hopefully that's going to be good enough. I've got a big old mound of straw here. Let's get that thing lifted back up. So yeah, I've been having a little think of what I'm going to be putting back in these. Well, obviously we've got 
have to be setting up for um, getting more crop in here soon. Uh, I think we've got a lot of prep work to do still yet before that, so I don't know. It gives me a plenty of time to think about what I'm going to be putting in the ground. Try and find out what actually grows best here in America, really. Because I don't want to have something that's not going to grow if we're in the wrong climate, you know, so it's always better to do a bit of research before I do start planting. We've got two more passes to go. Yeah, lovely. Alright. Okay, not much left to go now. We can keep that down now, so it should be staying on the field. Obviously, I'll, sometimes you won't get every little bit, you know, bit. But as long as we've got the majority of it, I'll be happy. Which means, actually, we've got quite a few bells dropped off this. Quite a nice amount. I do like this at the minute because it just feels like we're doing really like you know some really old school farming. Oh, I can lift that up because I need to get around this. They all, everything feels a bit old school, which is quite nice. I do like it. Like I said in the last video, I do think old school stuff is sometimes nicer. Just you know the sound of the old tractors is just better. Uh, if we go this way, we'll try and cut in from that bale. Don't really fancy drying over my new bales. Yeah, there we go. That should be good. We should be able to get into there now. Lift that up just in case. Yeah, perfect. That's done the job nicely. Beautiful. So yeah, I have to have a count in a minute, see how many bells I got off this. Does it look like a fair few? Also then it's trying to find somewhere to store it. Wow, this is... That was hell of a... That was a pig load of straw clumped up there. Oh yeah, I suppose that's when we finished with the harvester, wasn't it? I'll go and grab that little bit, just to have a little tidy up. As I spotted it, might as well grab it. There we go. I think we are good now. Right. Shut the thing down so it saves a bit of fuel. Actually, raise that up first. There we go. And we'll shut it down. Ideal. Happy with that. Right, I'm going to quickly jump out, get this thing folded back up. And then I might have a little count as well while I'm out there. So. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Alright. There we go. I think I'm going to have to take that full sail sign off in a bit, to be honest. <laughs> it seems weird if I'm driving around with a baler with full sail on. But, I've had a little count up. And it turns out we've got 21 bales off there. Which, to be honest, isn't actually a bad amount. That'll come in handy for something. Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I'm going to keep them in storage. Um, I might even get a call, phone call at some point asking for an order of them so it's always worth keeping them just in case uh oh no my tractor's got dirty the wheels have got some mud on it uh oh <laughs> nah now it actually looks like it's actually doing something um yeah so try and find somewhere to park this thing i think actually yeah try and find somewhere all right No, I've got to say, happy with that baler. Done a fantastic job, that has. Um, where can we stick this? I haven't really got it. Well, got a, I haven't got an amazing amount of indoor storage, really, so. 
Might just have to stick it outside. Actually, I might go and stick it down with the um, cultivator and that. Yeah, we'll stick it down there, yeah. Um, I didn't really come out of this in the best way, did I? Right. It's such a small paler though, isn't it? Looks really small on this thing. Nice to have a new bit of machinery. Starting to get a collection, which is cool. I don't think you can ever go wrong if with having a load of machinery. Obviously, I think I've still got a lot more stuff to buy. In fact, actually, a plow might not be a bad shout. That might have to be something we're going to grab soon. Have a look out for one of them. Especially now we've got everything, you know, down. So, actually, I might have to do some pH level checks on the soil as well. See if we need to get any lime in or whatever. Right. I think that's good there. Right, let's quickly get this disconnected. Then I'll be back with you guys. Right, sorted, that's all done. Right, we're going to stick this thing away. And I think I'm going to we'll grab the pickup. We'll get a load of bells picked up. Try and find somewhere to put them then. But to be honest, I'm, I'm tempted to put him underneath the barn here. I'll put them under here. Or actually inside. Yeah, that might not be a bad shot to have him inside here, actually. So I won't bother putting this tractor in there yet. We'll leave him out. Right. I'll do there. Lovely. Sorted. Right. Yeah, let's go and get the pickup truck. The old Toy 8 where I think it is. Oh, in fact... Be a good idea if I got the keys. So I've just got to quickly run in the house, go and pick them up. Okay, sorted. Struggle to find them actually then. Found them in the top drawers of one of the cabinets. Right, let's get this thing unlocked and we'll hop in this. Quite cool to have a little go in this thing. Yeah, quite a um, very extreme interior. I think it's leather or whatever it is. It does look, feel, yeah, I think it, this is leather, yeah. Um, Good old stick shift as well. Quite an old school truck again. See, I, I do like this. Very old stuff. Everything is old. Anyway, right, let's get this thing fired up and get some bale collecting. There we go. Very nice. Um, right. Let's go and get some bales picked up. Here will do for now, won't it? Yeah, this should be good. Right, let's hop out and get the back open and start loading up. There we go, that's all opened up there now. Don't think these are going to be that heavy, are they? Nah, we're not thought so. Wonder how many we can actually get in the back of this pickup. Hopefully, a decent amount. What's the best way to do this? Is it going to be that way? The problem is, is those um, the wheel arches are in the way a bit, aren't they? Hop back up here. Right, let's get this shifted over. Yeah, this isn't not going to sit in there very not Well, now nah, I think I've found a way. I think I've worked out a way. Right. Up there. Ooh. Is that going to fit in that gap there? I hope so. Uh, don't sit amazingly. Actually, better idea. Let's get this spun round. Put that in there that way. That should do a better job. If we can get these two two of these in here yeah that's perfect yeah that works out lovely right uh, going to get this one next I think 
Gotta say though, it is very. Oh, string snapped off that one then. That wasn't very helpful. Right, there we go. Right, gotta say it is hot though. Very hot day. Not quite used to it. Taking some time to acclimatise to this heat in America. Right. Okay. I really do hope that's just going to sit in there. Don't seem to be going in there very easily, though. I don't want it to go on its side. Why do you keep going on your side? There we go. Hopefully this is going to work better. Ah, perfect. There we go. Does fit. Lovely. Okay. And then hopefully even get another one there sideways. So you're probably looking at four a layer. Because I don't want to put too many in here. I think you're only looking about maybe eight. It'll just be a bit too heavy for the old truck. Shift that there. Yeah, that should do. That should be alright. Um, uh, these aren't too heavy, so I won't worry about bringing the truck over. They're not too bad. In fact, I might put these... Hopefully I can get four on with them like that. Maybe I can get more. Actually, I might be able to get three there. If we can get another six on top, that would be ideal. In fact, yeah, we will move the car. We will move it. Um, yeah, let's go up over this way, I guess. Got three here, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, if I put that here, that should be good. Right. Okay. I'll push that one up with another bale. Up in here. Right, make sure he's right at the back, closely. Maybe I can get another three at the back here. That's the plan, anyway. Look at that, that is actually the perfect size. Let's quickly get this tailgate put back up. There we go. I think I'm only going to do with the... Oh, God, these strings keep, the string keeps snapping on these. I think I'm only going to do two layers. I don't really want to go too much. Like I said, well, last thing I want to do is actually lose him as well. So I think eight in there is good. Is that going to be three runs? Yeah, three runs, isn't it? Yeah, for 21. When you get down there, oh, jump up on here. There we go. Perfect. Ah. Yeah. Eight's more than enough. Oh, 
Right, get this one in there then. Sit down in there, lovely. Perfect. Um, I'm not going to worry about strapping them. We're not exactly have to go far and down to there, aren't we? So yeah, we'll get these dropped off then. Okay. All right. These. Hopefully, these don't really fall out. <laughs> I do hope so. See, they'd be all good. Um, oh yeah, let's get these in this barn. I think this is the best barn. Because I was thinking underside, it's probably more for cold storage, I would have thought. That's my guess, anyway. That's just stone walls. I mean, that should... When I got in there yesterday, it was... Well, when... Yeah, when, um... Oh, my bells have moved. That's helpful, isn't it? Maybe I should strap them down. Oh, I know for next time. Make sure they're done next time. Job to tell if we're getting in here. Uh... Yeah, I think we're alright. Yeah, we're good. Smashing. Right. Let's get these unloaded then. Right, yeah, as you can see, bells did pop out quite a bit actually, so I will strap them down next time. I suppose it's the vibrations, I don't know. But, um, where should I put these? I'll stick these over in this corner over here. Should be good here, shouldn't they? Yeah, that'll be good. Got a lot of storage in here. Take some time to fill this up, won't it? Okay. So yeah, I've been thinking about some animals, maybe. I don't know. Um, I might actually get some chickens, if I'm honest. If we get chickens, because I think they're pretty low maintenance. I would have thought they are, anyway. And nice little... I can get some nice eggs for the mornings, as well. I think you could beat a couple of, uh, you know, some nice eggs for breakfast. Eggs and bacon. That's what you want. What you call perfect meal. Good to keep you going for the day as well. Okay, right. God, we can get loads of bales in here. So much space. Yeah, 21 bales isn't really going to make much of a dent on it, is it really? Oh, why don't you sit down nicely? Thank you. Um, do I do an alternate stack? Don't know, because they're not actually... They're a bit bigger than two wide, aren't they? What are they, about two and a half? If they're two and a half, that'll work out nicely. Oh, about three, okay. Be all good then. There. Three more to go. Right. Oh, yeah, about three. Yeah, that's all right then.
Oh, no, these are a bit wider. Yeah, I've, I won't put them there. I'll wait until I've brought the other lot, and then we'll start putting them there, I think. Just leave them there for now. Yeah, that'll do that. Alright, hop up here. Cut this one off. There we go, that's one way to do it. Right. Okay. Lovely. Nice little start to the collection. Quickly close that back. Actually, no, I'll have to leave that down. Right. Just turn this off a minute. There we go. Right, get back out. I do. Right. See, I think I'm, what I'm going to do, obviously, I think that's a nice little start to the bail collection. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here. Because, you know, I don't think you're going to want to see me pick up all of the bales. Um, like I said, it's going to be another run maybe no another two drops i might try and get them all in the last one only be another five on top wouldn't it so yeah, i'm gonna think i'm gonna get that done um then obviously we'll get the old 7810 back in here but it's been good the baylor's done a very nice job and it's quite cool actually getting some I'm starting to get some stuff done here it's going good i'm enjoying this obviously next time um might have to start looking into getting fields prepped for planting so like i said i'm going to try and do some ph level run um checks um because I, I suppose you would do that before plowing i'm guessing yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do anyway um i know like well that field hasn't been cultivated the field over here's been cultivated but I'm going to plow it back up, I think. Um, just so I know that it's definitely been done. That is my plan anyway. Make sure it's all turned over. Because I think because this has been here for so long. It's probably been a good six months or so like this. So I think if we turn it over, freshens the soil back up again. Livens it up. So that is my plan. All the birds enjoying the worms that's been coming out. So yeah. I'm going to leave you guys here. Thank you ever so much for joining me again. Um, hope you enjoyed today's video again. You know, nice bit of progress. Got some bales in storage, which is good. I'm going to obviously carry on, get the rest of it finished. But thank you for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.